-hmm. Welcome everybody. This is the first session of August uh, for our weekly forecast. Um, last week uh, we had an interesting week. Um, each of us took a hit in the pound New Zealand so our counts for last week weren't as good as normal. But hey, you can't win everything. And uh, so last week I had a total of 63 pips um, after having 143 pip hit. Uh, how did you do, Clark? For the week? Uh, I, I had about a, about the same size hit, uh, not last week, but the week before. Um, but I did okay last week, although I wasn't trading as efficiently as I normally do. Had a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of things that popped up that um, took me away from trading, but nonetheless, I made about uh, 348 pips for the week. Okay, how about you, Natalie? Uh, I also took a hit in the Pound New Zealand, um, about 161 pips, so I ended up with a week for about 651 pips profit. Great. That's good trading. I don't care who you are. <laughs> you did a good job. <laughs> um, my total for the month, though, um, as far as profitable pips was 1,605 for the month of July and that was with a total of let me do my tally here on how many did I see 46 trades so how did you do for the month Clark? Well I just looked at my totals and I, I can't remember exactly but I had 49 trades one loss, and uh, I think it was 1,480 pips, roughly. Excellent. How about you, Natalie? Well, I didn't go that well as I was hoping for, um, but um, it was 52 trades, of which 8 were losses. Um, total pips was 1,976, and loss of 324, and it gives me a net of 1,652 pips for the month. Excellent. Great. This is this is great trading for the month of July. I know July historically hasn't always been a good month for me. Uh, this this last month actually changed that record, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's jump right into what uh, is going on this week and get this week under our belt as far as the information needed to do our trading. Uh, turn the time over to you, Clark. 